originally got the P30 Pro and uh, one thing that I didn't like within the, with the P30 Pro is how to quickly start my camera application to snap pictures. Uh, I used the Galaxy phones before that and then you have to double press on the, the now the power button. And uh, once you have done that, doesn't matter if the phone was locked or you're in an application, double press the power button and the camera could be launched. Uh, the only thing that I find now is that when you double press on the volume button, uh, the camera will be started only if it's in lock mode. If you're in an application, doesn't matter which application, let's I'll show you. The only thing will happen if I do press volume down twice is that the volume will go down twice. Uh, but there's no way to start my camera application and I might lose some shots that I want. So I was uh, looking on the internet for a solution for this. So what I found was an application called button mapper. And in this case, what I did, I used the volume down button, you have a series of options, and I used the long press option uh, to set it to launch the camera app. And now it doesn't matter in which application I am, for instance, I will go back to the, to the same application that I was uh, using before. If I now press and hold the volume down button, it will automatically launch my camera app and I'm ready to snap my picture. So the next thing that I want to show you is within the camera app is called touch, focus and mirroring. Uh, so everybody knows that if you tick or, or touch on a, a subject within the picture that you want to take, for instance, this camera, now the camera is in focus. If I would touch on the headset here, now the headset is in focus. What you also see happening is that when I touch on the dark side of this camera is that the picture will get brighter. That's because also next to focusing on that part he will also meter the light at that uh, at that part and because it's a very dark environment he will brighten the picture so there are two ways to solve this one is when you touch on it you can move the slider down to get a darker picture another thing is what you can do is touch and hold and then you get a, a metering, a light metering icon, if you will. And you can move that to a, a wider part or a brighter part to get a darker picture. I will show you, I will move this to this white part. And now you will see that you get a much darker picture. If I move it back to the dark part, for instance, this camera, you will see now it gets much brighter. So the next thing that I wanna show you is also within the camera app uh, and within pro mode, you see three options with a dot, EV, exposure compensation, AF, autofocus, and AWB, auto white balance. The only thing that I think is usable, what I'm gonna explain, is that you can uh, lock your autofocus. Focus. So how does it work? For instance, I focus on this part of the headset, I press and hold on AV, and now my focus is locked. Meaning, if I will move my camera to another part, it will not focus on that part, as you can see. If I go back down here, it is focused. I can also release it by press and hold AV, and now it's unlocked. If I now go to my speakers, it is in focus, as you can see. Well, okay, you can do this with, with exposure compensation. You can do it with auto white balance. I don't see the use for it, maybe you, because if I change it, it will keep it on cloudy, for instance, if I like. Uh, it's not going to change based on the lightning conditions that this camera is metering. So if, if somebody knows, let me know. I don't see the use for it, only for autofocus. Um, the only thing is with autofocus, you have to set it to autofocus continuously and not to autofocus single shot. Hope it's a bit clear. If you have questions, let me know. I'm glad to help out and, 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 and explain how those yeah, let's call them advanced settings work on your phone. So the last thing that I want to show you within the camera app is within night mode. You see two options there. Those are S auto and ISO auto. S stands for shutter speed and it's the length that the shutter will be open collecting light and information to the sensor. And uh, the shorter the shutter speed, the darker your picture will be and the longer, the brighter it will be. Well, another thing that's ISO auto. ISO will be the sensitivity to light for your sensor. So if you use a very high ISO value 
uh, your your sensor will be very sensitive to light and probably gather more light into that so in the, into that picture so you get a much more brighter image the only thing that ISO also introduced when you use very high values is noise to your picture so what I like to do is set this to a hundred like I do now and then shoot my night shots because then I will get uh, uh, a low as, as possible as low as possible noise into my picture and I got a much more cleaner and nice looking picture another thing that you can do of course play with the shutter speed auto uh, and just move it around take some pictures and see what's happening but now you have some understanding what it does